Start this first pattern by separating the hair in a zigzag parting from ear to ear, stretching right over the topmost part of the head. We work all the hair at the nape to one side and we vertically cut to about 6 or 7 centimeters from the hairline. We do the same on the other side. We layer the lower nape section by section. On top, we make a zigzag parting to the side. We set the length in one section and then we work all the hair upward at a slight angle, cutting it at the same length as the first section. It is essential to check the length at the base. Once cut, we start to work on rolling the hair starting at the front. We take the first section and we protect the ends with paper. We roll the hair following the slant from the parting using a foam rod. We need to have the hair well combed so that the rods link together perfectly. We take the next section, we protect the ends and then we move on to meticulously rolling the section. We fix the rods in place with some plastic pins. We work the front in the same way, always rolling in the same direction. We roll the sections from the temples and sides towards the face, but leaving the roots flat. For this, we need to really comb the hair well, to avoid any volume at the roots. We pin the rods in place. We now carry out the same process on the other side of the parting. We continue rolling the rods against the direction of the parting. We roll the sections at the temples towards the face, again leaving the roots flat. We then take a thick section from the top and we vigorously comb it to leave top with much volume, but leaving the roots very flat near the face. We raise the hairs tightly and we roll the first rod, pinning it in place on top. We do the same around the ears and the top of the crown. We now work the hair from the other side. We pull it tightly upwards and we roll another rod, again pinning it in place on top. We can see how we roll the rod, keeping the hair tight to get maximum body at the parting. do the same at the crown. We now work the side. We pull the hair tight and then we roll with the rod. We pin in place on top. Here we can see the finished setup. We have left the nape alone to show off the natural form of the model's hair. Next we use the indirect application to really soak each rod with a curling lotion. Here we are using an alkaline lotion for natural hair. We leave the application for the time stated by the manufacturer. We then rinse well with water before adding the neutralizer. Afterwards we add a conditioning mousse and then dry.
We dried the hair statically with a diffuser and with the head hanging slightly downwards. Once dry, we add some finishing cream to loosen the curls and to leave them free. We can see in these shots the end result of this perm, where the very natural looking curls blend in perfectly into the model's hair at the nape. It is a natural look, one that allows a woman to show off a young and modern image.